between the pair of them about strikeouts and uh, ERA. Two high-level players, and Engler will scoop, fire, and there's one down, and that will give us an opportunity. Engler going against Bree McGee, and she gets McGee to strike out, and that will give us an opportunity to take a look at the... Uh. And now this is cracked to left field, so Sasha Penglaze will get a board, and it's a base runner for that big power bat in the middle in Yo Grower. And she's moved to Glen Elg. And she'll roll this one up the middle, and it's bobbled a little bit from Bree Marcelino. Took a funny hop, and it's two on, but I was just about to say... Ooh. Um, dangerous and... Multiple respects, no, but that just kind of slipped out of her hands. Yeah, definitely it's... Grounded. This will be a tricky play. It's a slow roller. Marcelino picks it up. Had to make the play. And Golden strikes out looking. That is a well attacked at bat. And Jade Peterson attacks the strike zone. And the pitching one for sure. And look at that rocket shot down the line from Jess Maslin. It rattles all the way up against the wall. Marcelino's going to score easily. And with a hundred miles per hour off the bat, that cracked down the line and scored the first run. He can. Now a hard swing from Callahan. It was right in the dirt. That'll end the first inning, but a Jess Maslin RBI double. Doing it tough because they're having to get to the finals. She is the strikeout leader and she gets Three up, three down, three strikeouts in the inning. Fires one out to center field. Bree McGee has to range back, and she makes a play. Uh, a grade this season. She has just rolled back into the C-Max spot. Do you see that one go through? Yeah, it just nubs it towards center field, splits the gap, and it's another base runner for Port Adelaide. It's a great effort, though. Now she's going to drop down the bunt. It just goes foul. You could see the spin on that. It was fighting to stay in. Warm up. Um. Angler to center field. That drops in on the green, and it's two on and two out. Means. Jess Golden got some power under it and a mile in the air. But Lucy Chappelle moves over and makes the play. Grounded over towards the right side, and Smith steps on the bay. Ability as a coach. It's an interesting take there as uh, Callahan comes up throwing. So in one. And Liz Angler gets her fifth strikeout of the day. Softball's included there. It's grounded up the middle. It takes a funny hop off of, might have been off the foot of Sophie Kinnear and Zoe Thompson, who's got some speed as a board. Well, I mean, lots of fouls. Grounded over to third. What a trap. They couldn't get one. Courtney Shepard did a good job of getting down and trapping, but legends. It'll be grounded up the middle, and it takes a funny hop. It'll cost them and score a run. It'll be a second RBI for Jess Maslin, who just survives long enough. You can see the left field. Oh, in. They tried the double steal as they threw the ball away. It will make it a 3 nothing game. That pressure started. And Peterson gets Callahan swinging, so sits down. Or should say. Letton shot to right field. That drops. It scores another run. And it's a big inning for Port Adelaide, who are now up 4 nothing. Edwards shoots one to right field. Letton will advance to third. It's runners on the corners and one out. And swing and a miss, so Yo Grower powers one through on the inside. Flared one towards right field, fighting the sun again is Chappelle. CFS round, that was great last week, is Grower towards center field. Played by Letton, one down, but he had the Towards the right side, it has been hobbling on the deck today. Montana Edwards probably wisely just decides to eat it after a bit of... Grounded towards second, they'll try to turn two. Yes, sir! A double play! You love to see him. 
Muslin is the only player that could make that play in this league, I reckon. It's just that transition and the, the strength of that throw and the accuracy. It just shows how first class she is, and it's uh, it's always been a, a joy to watch her play. Great look at the C-Max replay if you want to. Check swing. Did she go? Yes. So it is a strikeout, the second for Yo Grauer. She was hit by a pitch with two outs in the first, and now she knocks it in the air. It's sort of that awkward spot. And Bree McGee charges on two down. Most of them foul balls, and this is one pitch in the air. It's a one pitch at bat, but Maslin is on with a hit for the third time today. Play. Well, the at bat continues. It's jammed, and it takes a funny hop and scores a run. Added to the tally, and the the dirt's doing some funny things today. Uh, lays down the bunt. She's going to try to leg this out. It was a bit too deep on that bunt, so Grower was able to walk up almost a defensive swing, but right to Callahan, who makes that look easy. It's in the first inning when it was bases loaded. This pops straight up in the air. Marcelino calls everybody off field and get herself on. She had another good hit that went out to right field. Rolled over to second. Edwards makes the play and that is 13 up 13. Was, I think about 5 nil. they managed to put a couple on. Charged in the air into that soft spot again and it's kind of the afternoon it's been for Port Adelaide. Saturday isn't it? Uh, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday finals I believe. Yeah. It'll be on the 17th of March I want to say. Saturday the 17th. Angler trying to consolidate her player of the game, but she'll swing and miss on that. She does have a hit, though. This would be certainly up the list of one of the unlikeliest. And they're off to a start here. The ball was put in play. Miggy couldn't quite get to first base in time. Callahan made the play. One turned at two, but then dived back in and got back in before the tag came on. So runners advanced to two. Early swing again, took a funny hop, and look at Marcelino go. Make it two, and that drops in and scores a run. It breaks up the shutout, and it gets by Jess Maslin and allows Grower to have a think about three. She won't hustle that out. She'll stay at two. It's an RBI double for Yo Grower and puts Glenn Elg on the scoreboard. The leaders for a reason. Grounded over towards second. Edwards makes another play in the field, fitting that she finishes it off. And that will wrap up the game. We've got the signal from the umpire. Port Adelaide win it 5-1.